Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Here's another word problem on whole numbers for you. And the word problem is she had two times as many crayons as Maria. Okay, two times as many crayons as Maria. After borrowing some crayons from Maria, she now has five times as many crayons as Maria. If they have 150 crayons all together, how many crayons had Maria at first? Okay, so what do we know? Here, we know that she had two times as many crayons as Maria. So let's draw the model diagram for that. So if Maria had this block of crayons, then she would have twice as many, right? But before that, let's also put a line here which tells you how many crayons Maria had at first and how many she lent to Chi or how many Chi borrowed from Maria. Okay, so let's color code that. So let's put a purple color which will tell you that this is how many crayons she's, she has left after giving some to Chi. And let's put a blue color which will tell you that this is how many crayons she gave to Chi. All right. So now, if Maria had these many crayons, then Chi would obviously have twice of this. So Chi would have this plus this, right, at first. So Chi had two times as many crayons as Maria. That means Chi had two times the purple and blue blocks. Now, she gave, or Maria, she gave some of her crayons to Chi. That is, she gave the blue part to Chi. And after giving that, Chi has five times as many crayons as Maria. So what we do is we take this blue part, this blue part here, and we give to Chi, okay? So Chi has another block of crayons now, and that is equal to the blue part. So let's color that here. Now, Maria doesn't have this anymore, so we will erase this part because Maria doesn't have this part anymore, right? Let's only put a dotted line here because uh, we know that she used to have some crayons before which she gave to Chi. Okay, so this is the blue part that she gave to Chi. Now, let's read this sentence here. This says Chi now has five times as many crayons as Maria. So now Chi has five times as many crayons as Maria. So if Maria has one purple block, that would mean that Chi has five purple blocks. But what do we have here? We have two purple blocks and three blue blocks. That means that in, in total there are five blocks. So that means the blue block is equal to the purple block, right? Because if Maria has one purple block, she will have she should have five purple blocks. So that means her five blocks are equal in size. So the blue block is the same as the purple block. Okay? That means that Maria now has one block and she now has five blocks of the same size. So that's that about she now has five times as many crayons as Maria. So we might as well color these blue blocks as purple, right? Because the blue block is the same as the purple block. The sizes are the same. Okay, so that's understood. Now what do we have next? We have that if they have 150 crayons all together. So they have 150 crayons all together. This is equal to 150 crayons. Then how many crayons had Maria at first? Well, let's first find out how much each of the purple blocks is. Okay? So, how many purple blocks do we have? One, two, let me write down. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So, we have six purple blocks. So, we write six units is equal to 150 crayons, right? So, if six units are equal to 150 crayons, then how much is one unit equal to? Well, one unit will be equal to 150 divided by 6, and that is equal to, uh, how much is that? 150 divided by 6 is equal to 25. So that is 25 crayons. So each purple block is equal to 25 crayons. But Maria had, but that's how much Maria is left with now. But how many, how many, did, how many crayons had she at first? That's what the question asks of us. So at first she had two purple blocks, right? So at first she had this. This is what we have to find out. At first she had two purple blocks, so she had two units at first, right? So two units means two times 25 crayons, and that is equal to 
50 crayons. So the answer to the question that's asked is Maria has fifth Maria had 50 crayons at first, okay? So that's that about this word problem. For more word problems and for more practice exercises, as usual, visit www.homecampus.com.sg. Okay, don't forget to practice because practice makes you perfect. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.